Um, so uh, there are people getting uh, getting things ready, uh, generator going to uh, actually produce some power to uh, to power the lights inside. Well, this is one of the luminaires being fitted into the test rig. So that light is at 2.4 metres, but then the guys have just looked at putting them up at 2.7, and that appears to work slightly better. It gives a better, a better throw of light. With essentially the same, uh, the same effect. The alcove there, uh, which is where UVA are going to be putting their, um, their special lighting, and that's a shot of the of the luminaire, the LED luminaire up there. On its stand, uh, and that one is at uh, 2 point seven. 2.7 meters. And uh, looking at things, Richard, we're probably thinking that that's probably going to be the that's an optimum height. The uh, the optimum height. The ceiling begins to uh, curve in at that point. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So this is all looking good. And this is some of the team, some of the uh, lighting services, and uh, UVA guys talking through uh, what's what and how things are going to uh, hang together. We've just been in uh, looking at uh, what's going to happen with the uh, potentially with the lighting. Um, and we have uh, two guys here, both called Richard, so that makes life uh, nice and easy from, uh, from, from lighting services. Uh, we've also got with us um, Laura, Nick and uh, Zach um, from United uh, Visual Artists. And they've been having a look at, um, at, at, at some of the things to do with the, uh, with the feature lighting. And of course we've got Mark and, uh, and, and, and uh, Paddy. Um, the two Richards. Um, it's been great to actually go in and see what's uh, what's likely to happen with the lighting. Could you just give us a sort of brief resume of, you know, what the purpose of going in today was and uh, and putting the lights up and uh, so on? Yeah. Well, obviously we've done CAD designs on the computer. It's always nice to prove that those designs actually work and provide the light levels they're meant to. So what we've done basically, we've looked at the requirement, the legal requirement and the Sustrans requirement for lighting of the tunnel. We've then programmed that in and calculated that uh, the luminaire that we're looking for here, which um, is a Vega light fitting. Okay, and could we just have a, a bit of a look at that? Yeah. yeah. It contains 10 LED chips and basically it provides a very wide angle letterbox well, effect. Wide, wide angle uh, long distribution with sharp cutoffs. So uh, the uh -huh. idea was that uh, we were trying to achieve uh, stringent uh, requirements in terms of where we put the lights so it was uh, took a bit of uh, uh, work to find the right fitting but we think we found one that uh, achieves what we were looking for. Jolly good. Uh, and this is made by a German firm is it? It is yes it's a German family company privately owned Bega mm -hmm. who are, uh, worldwide. So we didn't have anybody in this country that could actually uh, provide these, uh, sadly, these things then? Sadly no, no right. tried and tried but uh, they're not to that standard. Various standard. different manufacturers, uh, some British, some overseas. Yeah. And this one filled the criteria because it's fully waterproof as well. Could actually be immersed into water. Yeah. And it would still run. So it's an IP68 luminaire. 
um, and uh, very robust. Right, okay. Um, and uh, so what was the sort of, uh, what did we decide about the, uh, the sort of spacing and the, uh, and the heights and so on? Uh, what was the sort of conclusion about that, guys? Uh, two points. So we, we came uh, to the conclusion that 2.7 mountain height was, uh, gave us what we were, uh, a better definition on people, people's faces at normal walking uh, height as well as riding height. And uh, we could uh, stretch the spacings out for uh, seven metres uh, between fittings. Right, okay. On alternate sides? Yeah, we staggered, staggered, so uh, seven metres one side, se seven metres to the next fitting on the opposite side. So, pretty successful uh, trial by the look of it. I think so. Yeah. It's like to Patrick yeah. to decide on that <laughs> one, but yes. Yeah. 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 Very happy with it, very happy with it. Right, jolly good. Thanks very much for that, chaps. Um, and uh, and you guys from uh, from UVA, yeah, you've been in the tunnel. You've had a look at the sort of stuff that um, that uh, that the two Richards are, are aiming to do. Um, was the visit uh, visit uh, valuable today? Did you did you learn a few things? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we wanted to see how what the two Richards are proposing is going to work with what we had in mind for the art lighting. And yeah. We're very pleased actually. We think that they're going to kind of coexist very comfortably and we also wanted to look at the refuges along this tunnel and get a sense of what the dimensions of them were so we can create a work that will work in in each of the alcoves so that was helpful as well and yeah it's been it's been good to meet everyone and mm. I think it's really useful that you guys have met up, up as well because obviously you've got to, uh, there are things, you know, where the cabling goes and goes into your bit from yeah. their bit and there are so on and so of forth. There are that are really crucial in terms of how they coordinate, so it's really good to understand the scope of work and to make sure that the two, the two types of lighting can exist well together and we're very confident that they will do. Yeah, and so are we. <laughs> Yeah, really looking forward to that. It's going to be really exciting, the, uh, the feature lighting. Thank you. And Mark, the last word goes to you. Well, I just think it's brilliant that everybody's got together and discussed what's practicable in there. I thought the lighting looked really good. I was very impressed with that because you can, you can stand, you can look down the tunnel. In a lot of these tunnels, you get a, a, a bright spotlight sort of bouncing back in your face and you can't see a thing. But with these, it, it, you can hardly see the lights, but you can see the tunnel, you can see people, and that's just wonderful. Excellent. Right, thank you for that folks. Uh, this is your roving reporter signing off. Uh, watch out for the next uh, video blog in due course.